Hello, everybody, and welcome again to Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting people, topics, and businesses that are inspiring, interesting, and engaging. And I'm your host, Ricky Smith. Today, you all, we are going across the pond, if you will. We're going to go over to England to meet my friend, Philippa Taylor. Hi, Philippa. Hi, Ricky. How are you? I am well, thank you. How about yourself? Oh, fabulous. Thank you. Just fabulous. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Now, for those of you who do not know, there's quite a bit of a time difference between here and England. So for me, it's five o'clock in the morning. What? <laughs> uh, I am so honored that you're up at that time and you're like, we're having a chat and it's all go, go, go. I appreciate it. And believe me, this is not a problem. So, Philippa, you know, we have so much to talk about because you are someplace that I would love to one day go and live and probably someplace that folks are curious about. So tell me a little bit about where you are in England. I am. And thank you. And thank you again for inviting me to come on and have a chat. I'm really, really honoured to be here. Um, I live in a lock keeper's cottage next to a canal, which is about 40 minutes northwest of London. So easy to get to London for all the lovely stuff that we have there. But in the middle of nowhere, you can't drive to the house. I have a field full of racehorses on one side and I have a canal on the other side. So I have peace but I also have like an escape route to get out and have some life as well. I bet it sounds lovely out there. And so we're going to just talk about things that are British that I know very little about that people may be curious about. So first things first, let's talk about tea time. What is the deal with tea time? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a real thing. Oh, it, oh, yeah, for sure. Tea is the answer to everything. You know, you're happy, have a cup of tea. You're sad, have a cup of tea. You want to talk to someone, have a cup of tea. Oh, let's have a, you know, oh, my goodness, what's going on? Let's have a cup of tea. Oh, let's meet for a cup. It's just tea. And it doesn't matter if it's just normal tea. You know, I call it builder's tea, you know, like a tea bag and a mug, but a milk on that side. If you're going out for afternoon tea at the Ritz, you know, and you have all the little sandwiches and the scones and the cakes and the pastries. Doesn't matter. Tea is the lifeblood. Okay. So it's sort of like coffee is for us here in the States. Every, the coffee apparently is the cure-all for anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, it is, it is the lifeblood. It's like, yeah, it'll solve all your problems, make you feel good, warm you up calm you down get you excited celebrate well maybe celebrate with something a bit more fizzy but yeah <laughs> <laughs> well there you go and tea time is there a specific time because you know you hear about like like at four o'clock y'all's time there is something there is a tea time is that really what is that about yeah it's there's the old uh, there's a poem that sounds stands the clock at 10 to 3 you know, but that for me is a little bit too early for tea. I always think about four, five o'clock for a cup of tea, piece of cake or something. And I think it also comes back to the whole after school thing. You know, you get home from school and you have not a cup of tea because you're a child, but, you know, you have a glass of milk and something. And tea also means for some people in some parts of the country means their evening meal. Oh, and they'll have, oh, okay. you want to come over for tea They'll be come over and have supper, like a light dinner. But for me, if somebody says come over for tea, I'm expecting sandwiches and cake. <laughs> no. I did not know that. I, I see, I learned a new thing already. So well, thank you for good. sharing what tea actually is. Okay, so in the news, Europe is in the news a lot. Now, I need to know what is going on with Brexit for you guys. How is that going? How's everybody handling it? Oh, yeah, but it's a bit of a divisive subject on that side, even in our house. You know, one of us voted one way and the other one of us voted the other. But let's not go there. Let's not, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> let's not go there. Um, I think it's not making a huge amount of difference because obviously the current situation is, is dwarfing everything else. But before that happened, it was really more of a question of, oh, okay, so there's more paperwork for businesses, there are more restrictions, you know, there's the whole 
Ireland and Southern you know, Republic of Ireland versus Northern Ireland, what you know, it's a little bit more difficult for them. Sure. And it's like these are our neighbours. Why do we? You know, we're going to have to get a visa to go to France. I mean, wow. just because, uh, why would you do that? But anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's a thing. And and everybody has their stuff. And we want to make sure that everybody know, y'all, these are her opinions. She is not a political figure, nor is she in the government. We're just having a chat with my friend. That's all. Yes. yes. <laughs> I like to go. We have a flat in France. I want to go to France whenever I want to go to France, not to right. be limited. But oh that's what gosh. it is. So, yeah. you know, you can't change it. You can only respond rather than mm-hmm. react. So, yeah, that's there true. We go. And and there you go. And are you guys doing okay with it? Are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're going over to France quite soon, so that'll be. And I've been a couple of times since Brexit came in. Okay. Um, so yeah, it all seems to be good. All yeah. good. Well, good. And then the royals. You know, here in the states, that is like an obsession for some people, and in some areas. So. What is it, what's the Royals situation like for you all living there with that? I think it's because it's something that we've all grown up with, just part of our national identity. You know, it it, it makes the news, you know, the Queen had COVID, you know, it's on every news bulletin. You know, she makes a a speech or goes somewhere, it's on every news bulletin. You know, and the various members of the royal family getting up to various ideas and shenanigans. Yeah, shenanigans is a good way of describing it. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's like any family. They are human beings after all. They're just terribly privileged human beings. Yeah, that's true. Do you have a sense of a feeling, if you will, about the Meghan and Harry issue? <sighs> yes, yes. I think that Harry had a... A t- you know, a bit like William, you know, losing Diana must have been the most awful thing, you, you know, to be, to have to go through. And I can only imagine what that did to him and, and how he perceived the world. You know, and, you know, if he's happy, then that's great for me. You know, there are, I suppose I'm much more of a traditionalist. You know, the royal family is an institution. There are good things about it there are some very restrictive things about it but it is what it is again it's you know adapt or move on but there are ways of doing it wow now with you living there you know I have a theory that people that live in a place don't often go out to see some of the sights in the place have you ever been to the palace I've not been inside Mm -hmm. funnily enough you know, not on first name times for it. Like, you know, I can't she, imagine she, that she, you just don't know her. <laughs> can I have a cup? Come on for a cup of tea. Uh, I'm not today, Lizzie. I'm busy. You know, that's not going to happen. <laughs> but I've been there. I've seen the changing of the guard. Um, mm. I visited um, Windsor Castle and oh, no. I grew up in Norfolk, which is where her Sandringham, that, where they go at Christmas typically. I've seen that. I haven't been to Balmoral up in Scotland. Okay. Yeah, I've been, yeah. Wow, that's so neat. I, we're so going to talk about that later, my friend. So anyway, moving on. So we have to talk about something that I know there are a lot of people interested in, and I'm just not a fan. So forgive me in advance. Let's okay. talk Harry Potter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, is Hogwarts real and where is it? Uh, no, it's not, unfortunately. Dang, hey? <laughs> If uh, the Warner Brothers Studios, where they have all the the models and everything, is quite close to where I live, so we've been a few times. I have a well, he's now a teenager, but when he was little, we used to go a lot. And the detail and everything oh, is just incredible. Just oh my incredible. gosh! Wouldn't you love to go to school there? And be I, a wizard. See, I don't know. I I was telling you earlier, there is me and probably four or five other people in the world who's never read the books nor seen any of the films. So I only know what I've heard and, you know, caught here and there. So yeah, you're going to have to school me, girl. Oh, God, it it was a real thing. You know, I read the books as an adult and I was commuting into London. You know, I'd be sitting on the tube reading a children's book, you know, and look around and like there'd be dozens of other people doing the same thing. Yeah. Oh, I love it. That's Just so great. It. 
<laughs> so for all you Harry Potter fans out there, there you go. Add, add another fan to the list. You said something that I know we're going to have to chat about. You said the tube. So that's the subway, isn't it? <laughs> that's the subway, yeah. Okay. So here, that brings up something. What do you call pants? Like, you know, the pants that people wear. What do you call those? Oh, trousers. Pants go underneath your trousers. Okay. So pants then for you is like underwear. Yeah. we. I would say knickers or pants. Okay. I learned a new thing. And then that being said, what do you call the bathroom? Um, either the, the toilet or the loo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that is so interesting. Okay, here's one that I saw on TV that I'd never, what do you call the trunk of a car? <laughs> a boot. <laughs> boot. boot. I, I don't even understand why that is called that. No, no. I mean, it doesn't make any sense because you don't put things in. I suppose you put your feet in a boot, in a boot, but you don't put things in a boot. Whereas in a trunk for traveling, yeah, it makes more sense. But I think you've got that one boot. right. Yeah. Okay. And what do you call a truck? <laughs> a lorry. <laughs> See, I don't even understand what a lorry is. And then what do you call the elevator? <laughs> a lift. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And y'all don't spend dollars. You all spend pounds, correct? We have pounds, pounds and pennies. Yeah. Pounds and, and see, now we have pennies, but a penny is one cent. That's, yes. but a penny for you all is the change, correct? Yeah. So it'd be like it's one pence. So we all say 10p. Okay. Be that. Instead of 10 cents, instead of a dime, you'll say, oh, it's a 10p. Okay. Yeah, I'll be lost forever, girl. Lost forever. Yeah. Your hands don't have what you like. <laughs> yeah, that would be me. <laughs> Here, I don't know. Take this. I got nothing. Which reminds me, what is it that you do out there? Talk to me a little bit about your business, my friend. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Well, um, <laughs> that's a really good question. My business is all about helping people with their well-being. Because I, my feeling is, if you feel fab, then you can do more. Yeah, mm. it's quite a simple equation for me. Mm. And there's so much that we can do to help ourselves. But I'm, I think I'm equally curious as I am skeptical. So when somebody says, oh, you've got to try this, I'm like, mm, let me just have a little look in there and check that it's okay on this side. I'm a public relations consultant by background. So that I think that curious skepticism thing I've got going on. And so I found something that can activate your body so that you support your well-being. And I thought, well, this is good if it's a thing. You know, you had me at Healthy Aging Science and this works. I'll try it. I do. And it does. And it makes you feel fabulous. So now I tell other people about it. Oh, my gosh. And what's it called? What's your business called? My business is called Feel Fab Naturally. Feel Fab Naturally. I love mm -hmm. it. Man, there's just so much to talk about. But I want to talk about one more thing before we get gone. Mm -hmm. Now, you being over there, I'm being over here. How do people in Europe or in your area view us as Americans? I think one word, enthusiastic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah, it is, it's, it's that sort of go get them type. And, you know, let's let's just have a go. Yeah, much wow. more positive, much more open. I mean, I have family in, in Texas. Okay. And it's, so I see that side, you know, not that I have visited because of COVID for a while. Yeah. But when I'm there, I'm like, okay, that's a really different attitude. It's yes. Huh. It's like, yes. Wow, that's just so interesting. Because here we see the British people more as very reserved, um, very proper, and... A extremely what's the word upstanding if you will you know and of course we get all of that brilliant wisdom from tv and the internet oh yeah which you must believe every single word because there's no agenda going on at all <laughs> <laughs> that is 
<laughs> so true. Oh, See? Yeah. Well, now you know. If it's on the internet, it's true. It's true, yeah. You know. <laughs> you all look, this conversation is going to go on forever. Trust me when I tell you. But please don't forget, subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to give us a thumbs up because it's important to us. And you will be able to find Philippa because all of her information is going to be in the description below. So Philippa, my friend, before I let you go, you know we have to play our game, right? Okay, let's go. Okay, so this game is called This or That. It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you the choice of two things and you off the top of your head. Tell me which one you like the best. Are you ready okay. to play, my friend? I am so ready. OK, let's do this. <laughs> Flowers or plants? Flowers. Hotel or tent? Oh, hotel. <laughs> oh, God. I love the way you said that. Like, oh, God, no. <laughs> a water park or amusement park? A water park. Mm, okay. Practical joker or I don't play like that? I don't play like that. Yeah, me neither. Ugh, I'm so oh. not a fan. Uh, candlelight or moonlight? Oh, moonlight. All right. Are you a planner or you make it up as you go? Oh, planner. Okay. Do you go all day or I need a nap? Oh, all day. Okay. When you're speaking, and I can guess this, do you say pecan or pecan? <laughs> pecan. Pecan. Do you say pecan? Pecan. I'm pecan. Surprised. I would think it would be pecan. That's pecan. hilarious. No. Yeah. I've learned to say pecan, but because my brother just laughs at me. So it's, but it's, I would normally, normally I say, oh, I'll have some pecan pie or something. And it's like, you don't pee in a can. So it's like, really, no. <laughs> I would have never thought of that. And that word the same again. I'm sorry, thank but you, yeah. Thank you for ruining that. Now we know you want to pee in a can. <laughs> Moving on. I don't know. Have you ever been to Oklahoma? Moving on. So <laughs> when you meet someone, what's the first thing you notice? Their eyes or their smile? Smile. Uh, and for you, are you a words of affirmation person or an acts of service kind of girl? Ooh, both. Service will come first, though. Okay. All right. And finally, what would you tell your younger self now? Just do it. Okay. Don't be scared, huh? Jump on. Yeah, in. don't be scared. You know, it doesn't matter what other people are thinking or saying, just do it. I love it. All right, everybody. Thank you all for being meeting my friend Philippa and, and watching with us. We appreciate it. So that's it for this time, but we'll see you next time on Extra.